Steve and his condition, Nash? Steve Nash, uh, probable. Uh, no real big setbacks. He's just a little sore and stuff, but should be able to go tomorrow, you know, with a little bit of a, we'll see. How big a scare was it for both sides, you and him? How big a what? How big a scare was it? Well, you know, you, just, you know he's going to go through things like that until he gets his footing, until uh, he can play regular minutes and get his body right. and and then stuff will happen, but uh, it's good he can bounce back. Is this just a, a byproduct of just age setting in and, and he's going to have more injuries as he gets older? Well, I think with anybody coming back off of a year and a half, more or less, without playing a lot, there's some uh, tough times in the first month. And the, uh, but the biggest thing is snap back like he did, like he will, and then trying to get back into a rhythm that he can play. Mike, when you look ahead of next week, do you think Kobe and Powell could potentially be back uh, after the All-Star break? Uh, you know what? Well, you have to ask Gary. I, I don't know. Potentially, I think, but I don't know that for sure. So we'll, we'll see. What do you tell the team between now and the All-Star break? you got a, a winnable game tomorrow, and then you have Oklahoma on Thursday. Two winnable games, you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> um, that we need to keep playing well. It's, it, regardless of who we're playing or, or the, the standings or where we are, each day should be, you know, let's get better today. Let's, let's uh, try to get a win. Let's try to string some wins together. You know, I was a little disappointed in yesterday that we didn't win. I thought we played well enough to win. We just didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, but I like their effort. I like what they're doing, and uh, there's no reason to fall off. So I'm looking forward to the next two games. I think they'll give uh, everything they got, and uh, we'll see if we can string two together. It'd be great to go an all-star break with two more wins. You saw Xavier do some individual. Uh, Xavier, yeah, uh -huh. what was he able to do? Uh, he's getting closer. Uh, you know, after the all-star break, there's a chance that everybody could be well, and we'll see. Uh, Xavier has a chance. The farmer obviously has a chance. So uh, uh, we'll try to get through this next week and then see where we are. Kobe in the past when he wasn't playing was kind of around the team, at least in the training room and stuff like that. Has, has this recent uh, injury has been the same way? Yeah, more or less. You know, I think as it goes on. But, yeah, he's, he's been around. Uh, Pal, everybody else. Yeah, it's been good. You know what Kobe's work is consisted of? Huh? You know what Kobe's work is consisted of? Work? No, I don't. You have to ask Gary. They, they, yeah, they have their own schedule, but, yeah. I, oh, sorry. Like, has it been hard with all these never-ending injuries, like not to wonder when the next shoe? No, around, no, like no. You know, we're, again, I, I just go back to the guys that we have on the floor. Are they, are they giving everything they got? They do, they do. So it's fun to come to work with them and uh, getting them better, and uh, they're buying into everything we're doing. And uh, you know, the results aren't what they want, uh, what anybody wants them to be. But at the same time, it's a pretty resilient group, and they're they're trying their best. And because of the history that you have with Steve, have the two of you talked about his future when it, when it could possibly end? Is this the last year? No, not yet, because I think it's too early uh, for him. He'll have to decide that. He'll, he'll feel it in his heart and his head, and, and I'm sure he's getting good advice. Uh, uh, right now, we're just trying to get to the next game and play well. In that three-point guard lineup you guys are trying out, you, Kendall Marshall's the guy who's kind of doing catch and shoot opportunities. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. And, then, you know, we got... I mean, Kendall's shooting the ball extremely well. Uh, he's playing well. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll look at it again. Uh, if we can get away with it, uh, we're awful small, obviously, and, and we have a little bit of trouble uh, guarding a three that's, uh, that could overpower us. But if we can steal some minutes uh, until we get back Jody or Nick or X, if we can get somebody back at that position, then uh, then we might have to try it again. He was averaging like 11 11 as a Who? starter. Kendall. Kendall. 11, and I think the last two games, it's off the bench after 10 and 10. So yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, and all, yeah. And that's what he has to do because uh, you never know if you're going to be a starter on a team or if you're in a backup role. He has to be able to perform both ways, and he's done them remarkably well. Mike, we know the knock on Kendall coming in with shooting, and even yeah. last year, limited yeah. playing time is still under 40%. Right. What is it this year that's, that's been working for him with the shot? I mean, you'd have to talk to him, obviously. Well, what works is he's going in. Uh, you have to ask him. Uh, what he did in the summertime, what he did in the D-League uh, to improve his shot because it has improved. He has to have his feet set, so, uh, but that's okay. Uh, you can play that way. Uh, his, his improvement now has to be on the defensive end where he's a little bit more active and all that, but uh, he's, uh, he's playing well.